Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. And this one, we're gonna check out this mysterious pedal by Like My Pedals. Let's get it. First, let me start off by saying that this video is not sponsored in any kind of way. I actually purchased this pedal used years ago on Reverb. I've always been a sucker for like two in ones, three in one style pedals. And that was no different when I discovered this mysterious pedal on Reverb. It was a three in one um, and it was claiming to have a TS-808 in it, a Dumble in it, and a Klon. And then it had this LMP on it. So I had to do some research and it turns out that LMP stood for Like My Pedals. And Like My Pedals is ran by this guy named Joseph on basically all through Facebook. And if you are a part of the Facebook community, more specifically some of the gear pages that exist out there, and at some point you have probably discovered or stumbled upon this company. He seems to focus on building clones of some of the more popular pedals that exist out there, especially ones that we have a hard time getting our hands on, AKA Dumbles and Klons. This particular pedal was actually a custom request from Like My Pedals. Pedals. I'm not sure if the person I bought it from was the original owner, but somehow it ended up in my hands years ago. I fell in love with this thing when I first plugged it in, and it has nothing to do with the way it looks or even the fact that it is a three-in-one because I do favor those kind of products, but it's more so because of its sound. The left side of this pedal is the Green Envy, which is supposed to be like a TS-808. We have a volume, gain, and tone knob, and then an unlabeled switch or clip here. Um, I guess that's supposed to be like a clipping switch. The middle pedal is is the Maki, I think I'm saying that correctly, which is supposed to be like a dumble. And we have a volume, gain, attack, and color knob. And then all the way to the right is the special K overdrive, which is supposed to be more like a clon that has a volume, gain, treble knob, and then a bass boost. So you can add more bass or, or kind of keep it the same. Then that special K overdrive also has a clipping switch, so you get different clipping options. Then there's this one little other switch here which allows you to change the order. So I'm assuming that it lets you go from either left to right or right to left. Now again, my memory is that I absolutely loved this thing. However, I haven't plugged it in in years. So I don't know if it still holds its weight in gold. So we're gonna find out. Let's plug this thing in. I'm gonna be using my J. Cruz Model T guitar with Lawler pickups in there. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
have a very strong feeling that after hearing what that sounds like, that some of you are going to be rushing over to this uh, Like My Pedals Facebook page to inquire about purchasing some of their products because it sounds, I think, even better than I remember. Now keep in mind, this pedal is emulating arguably some of the most sought after tones in guitar history, right? So these are three sounds that are really not too accessible and therefore you have to sort of Take it for what it's worth in terms of what do they sound like to you coming out of this product. And I have to say, all three overdrives, though slightly different in every way, were absolutely killer and could have easily been an overdrive that I had no problem recording guitars with or playing live with. I mean, just fantastic. Clearly, we talked about some of the pros. Are there any cons to this thing? Well, this particular build, as I already mentioned, was a custom build for someone else, not even for me. So it's not like you're going to be able to necessarily pick this up unless you request that he build you something like this. From what I can see, now that he's building for a lot longer, he's using smaller casing. So the pedal itself is a little bit oversized, but I'm pretty sure now he could somewhat fit this into a smaller casing if you were literally interested in something just like this. But of course, you can also visit them and I'm pretty sure buy every pedal individually as well. Again, this is not a sponsored video in any kind of way. Joseph does not know I'm making this video. But either way, I want to thank Joseph and Like My Pedals for making such an amazing product and overall amazing products. So definitely check them out. I'll put a link to the websites that I do know of in the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you thought of the sounds that we got from this thing. While you're doing so, please do all of the things that help this channel grow. We recently found out that a ton of people who watch my content aren't actually subscribed. So take a moment to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Guys, thank you again for watching and until next week.